Hi, and welcome back. So what's this new wonder supplement that can reduce aggression by up to 28%? Well, the fatty acids available in dietary supplements via fish oil capsules are thought to help with mental and physical well-being, but could now also cut down on aggression, this according to a new study out of the United States. And these findings haven't come out of nowhere. Omega-3 has previously been linked to preventing schizophrenia, while aggression and antisocial behavior are thought in part to stem from a lack of good nutrition. What we eat can indeed affect our brain's chemistry. Researchers from the University of Pennsylvania built on earlier, smaller studies of omega-3 supplementation's effects on aggression. Their meta-analysis looked at 29 randomized controlled trials across 3,980 participants in total. Across all the trials, a modest but noticeable short-term effect was found translating to an up to a 28% reduction in aggression across multiple different variables. These included age, gender, medical diagnosis, and length of dosage and treatment. Neurocriminologist Professor Adrian Rain said, I think the time has come to implement omega-3 supplementation to reduce aggression, irrespective of whether the setting is in the community, the clinic, or the criminal justice system. The trials included in this study were carried out between 1996 and 2024, and they ran on average for 16 weeks. They covered a variety of different demographics, from children aged between 16 and under to older people who were aged between 60 and 50. What's more, the reduction in aggression included both reactive aggression, this being in response to provocation, and proactive aggression, this being behavior that's been planned in advance. Before this study, it wasn't clear if omega-3 could help with these different types of aggression. While larger studies across longer periods of time are going to be needed to further establish this relationship, it adds to the understanding of how fish oil pills and the omega-3 inside them might be beneficial for the brain. Professor Adrian Rain stated that, at the very least, parents seeking treatment for an aggressive child should know that in addition to any other treatment that their child receives, an extra portion or two of fish each week could also help. The researchers think something in the way that omega-3 reduces inflammation and keeps vital brain processes taking over might be helping to regulate this aggression. There's still a lot of unanswered questions, but the team suggests there's enough evidence to look much further into this. Add to this the studies that show that medications derived from fish oil can help to reduce the risk of fatal heart attacks, strokes, and other heart health problems. There seems to be plenty of upside to add in some omega-3 to your diet. Adrian Rain, Professor Rain, closed by saying that omega-3 is not a magic bullet that is going to completely solve the problem of violence in society. But can it help? Based on these findings, we firmly believe it can, and we should start to act on the new knowledge that we have. And if you would like to learn more about Omega-3 supplements, there's a link in the description to a far more detailed video on that particular subject. And if you're looking for a reputable supplier to buy these supplements from, of the big three, Renew by Science, Do Not Age, and Pro Health Longevity, at present, Do Not Age and Pro Health carry omega-3 supplements and if you do choose to buy from one of these two companies please feel free to use the code my nmn at checkout to get between 10 and 15 percent off but why have i started to take omega-3 supplements if you follow the channel you'll know i've got five unofficial pillars of longevity those being in order nutrition exercise sleep reducing stress and targeted supplementation so omega-3 in my humble opinion now hits two of these five, those being targeted supplementation for things like reducing inflammation, reducing triglycerides, preventing plaque formation, etc. And now if it can reduce anger, I'm thinking it may also be able to help reduce stress. Time obviously will tell. Let me know in the comments below if you take omega-3. And if you do, what specific benefits are you looking for or are you actually seeing?